Today, you have learned how to map as fast as possible using the wrong equipment and the wrong settings. We're going to do a flight planning session with the DJI RC Smart Controller. This is the one that came with the Mavic 2 Pro way back yonder. Um, and what I've done is I've installed DJI Pilot PE, which is the private edition of the enterprise flight planning software. So why am I doing this? Well, so I have DJI automated mapping capability without using a third party SDK uh, mapping software. You can see I've got the DJI Go 4, which is the built-in flight control software. And then I've also got Pix4D Capture, Ground Control, Drone Link, Spexy, Drone Deploy, and DJI Pilot PE. Pilot is DJI's enterprise software that lets you control the drone in a few more advanced ways. And Pilot PE is private edition, and it works with the Mavic 2 Pro, which is a non-enterprise drone. In manual flight, it may be worth it, it may be not, right? That's not really why I installed the software. I installed the software so I have the capability to run automated flight missions. So let's go back and let's say I wanted to create a mapping mission. So I'm going to go into create a route and there's a baseball field over here. Let's say we're gonna map this baseball field. So let's say we wanted to do this multi baseball diamond field here. So we'll go tap to create. And you'll notice right away that it's showing camera type and it's custom camera. The built-in camera that's on the Mavic 2 Pro is not supported out of the box by DJI Pilot PE. So you have to go into custom and then under camera custom, I've created a one called the Mavic 2 Pro. So I go to edit with the pencil and I've called the name of it the Mavic 2 Pro. It's a 5472 by 3648 pixel width and height. You have to put those dimensions in and then I choose that camera under my custom camera mode. So now that's set. So what that lets the planning software do is you'll see the GSD is at 2.35 centimeters per pixel. That's how much distance is covered with every pixel. So in this case, that lens will only see over here. It won't see over here. And I'm just gonna quickly show you the difference between mapping and oblique. So I've got the controller. I've got a very basic map. I'm gonna turn the controller on. We're just gonna go up and do like a four minute flight. It's gonna be a top down nadir path over the building here. I notice that the gimbal turned down immediately. It's climbing straight up. It's gonna come back and forth as it's going here. Get down to pixel level and you can see it's relatively sharp. You look on the map real quick and you'll see the blue dots all over the screen as the path of where the drone flew. That is the cameras. The next thing we're gonna do as fast as possible is we're going to align the cameras. So it's gonna take all the photos and align them in 3D space to make sure that they're consistent by comparing the photos. So this is in 3D space. So if I grab this wheel here, I can rotate my reference view and you can start to see all these dots below. Those are point clouds that are common points that it's found really quickly with a basic idea of what's going on. The next step in the workflow is to either build a mesh or build a dense cloud. We're gonna do a low quality mesh and a low face count. This will probably take a little bit more time. See there's a missing photo already in the map here, but it, it's only one, so it doesn't seem to care. And it's gonna hang at that one second for a little while. It always does. It's okay, it says it's finished, and look, it's much higher resolution because it's only focusing on building the ortho mosaic. So it took all the images and then corrected them so that it's top down only. Remember we were talking about sun angle earlier? You can see where the shadows have been created from the building and everything else. But this is a flat 2D image, right? So it's been corrected so that everything is straight down flat. And when you zoom in, you can see it's a me. It's taken all of the images, but it's got two different images that it's stitched together. So this is the same as building a panoramic photo where Photoshop takes all these different images and looks for common points and then stitches them together. In this case, there's now two of me. What a nightmare. Let's do survey statistics. And we can see 
how it processed everything. Okay, so this is good. You've now got a high resolution, geographically referenced image that can be used in GIS software. If this is on YouTube, thanks for watching and be sure to hit like and subscribe. This is an offset or a shorter segment of what would be the long full video on our Coastal Drone Pro monthly. So subscribers have access to unedited long content that goes into way more than necessary detail about stuff like this. And what you're getting is just a preview and a taste of that. Today, you have learned how to map as fast as possible using the wrong equipment and the wrong settings. Get out there, try it out, see how you go with it, and uh, fly safe. Thanks for watching.